Hey there and welcome back to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Slimer from Ghostbusters. So we're going to start with the face. I'm going to start with the bridge of the nose. With a curve from left to right, curve up in the middle, and then down on the side. In here we're just going to draw the bottom of the nose. Starting with the left side we're going to draw a little U shape. And on the ends I'm just going to swirl them around for the nostrils. And we'll color them in black. Just at the tip of the nose here, we're just going to draw a short little straight line down. Let's go ahead and draw the bottom lids of the eyes. So just on the left side of this nose, we're going to step up a little bit and draw a curve over to the left side. Do the same thing on the right. Now you can see that the nose overhangs the cheeks a little bit here. Let's go ahead and tuck the eyeballs in underneath this curve. So we're going to start on the left side and basically draw a circle going around. Do the same thing on the right side. Now in the center of these circles, we're just going to draw a pupil, just a little tiny circle in the center of each circle. Now we're going to surround the eyeballs with the inside socket of the eye. So starting on the inside, we're just going to go around the eye and then just come out to the outer edge. So there's a little overlap here. We're going to color the outside area in black. Go ahead and do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the inside, curve around the eye, and then just come down on the side. Let's go ahead and color that in black as well. From here, we're going to draw the upper brow. So just above each eye, we're just going to draw a curve going to the side of the head. So starting on the inside of the left eye, go up above the eye, and just come down to the side. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So starting on the inside, curve around the eye, and just come down on the side of the eye. We'll go ahead and draw on the top of the head. So the top peaks of these curves, we're just going to draw a top curve for the top of the head. And then in here, we're just going to draw a couple curves for the forehead wrinkles. Let's go ahead and draw on the mouth. So he's got a really big mouth. So we're going to start with the top edge of the mouth first. So starting just below each eye, just on the outside, we're going to draw a curve Coming down in the middle, then up on the right side. We're going to draw a little bracket on each end, so just a little curve like that. Let's go ahead and draw on the bottom part of the mouth. So the mouth, I'm going to draw really big. So from these corners, I'm just going to draw a curve coming down to the bottom of the mouth and curving back up on the right side. From here, we want to draw in the teeth. So we're going to layer in some gums on top of the teeth. So in the middle, of the mouth right here. I'm just going to draw a little point. We're going to draw some sockets for the teeth. So we're going to draw a curve going out to the right. And I'll draw the same curve going out to the left. Now we're going to draw a series of these on either side. So on the right we're going to draw one, two, and then we're going to reverse the curve going up. On the left side we'll do the same thing. So going one, two, and then we'll curve it up. To draw on the teeth all we need to do is take these little points at the bottom and draw straight short line coming down from each one. You can make them roughly the same length if you like. And then from here we're going to connect these lines, the ends, with a curb for the bottoms of the teeth. So a little curb going across. And we'll do the same thing on the left side. And on the ends, just to finish this off, we're going to take that corner and just pull it up just to show a little bit of the back row of teeth there. Let's go ahead and draw on the bottom row of teeth. So these ones get tucked in underneath the lips. So in the middle here, we're going to start with a curve going out to the left and a curve going out to the right. Now we're just going to work our way up to the right with two rows of teeth, so two curves. And then up here, we're just going to overlap the back molars with these little curves like this. Just do that a few times. And then on the left, we'll just make sure that we have the same count of teeth. So this one's the same as the right one here. Then right here, we're just going to layer in the molars. Just checking back to make sure we draw the same number of teeth, like that. And then from the back molars, we're just going to draw a bridge, a little curve for the tongue. So we're going across like this. We want to draw in the tonsils. So up here, in between these two top teeth, I'm just going to draw a little punching bag in the back of the throat. Then up here, I'm just going to draw a curve on both sides. We're going to color that inside area in black. Now that we got that, let's go ahead and start drawing in the body. So from the edge of the eyes, we're, gonna, we're just going to draw in the cheeks. So from here, we're just going to curve around and just pull it in towards the mouth. 
on the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving out and then pulling that in. Now we're gonna work our way down the neck to the body. And basically the body is just a big, almost like a pear shape. So from here, we're just gonna step up a little bit. We're gonna curve out, go to the right side, curve out. And then we're gonna pull these in with a short curve coming in towards the body. And this will be part of the wrinkles in the body. Underneath here, underneath the mouth, I'm just gonna draw a curve from left to right. Just going across like that, just to show some of the wrinkles. Up here, we're gonna do a series of wrinkles coming down. So up here, we're gonna step up to the side and draw a curve going out and in. Do the same thing on the right side. And we'll continue this all the way down to the body, which I'll draw down to here. So we're gonna go back up on this side here, draw another curve. Do the same on the right side. Now from here, we're just gonna draw in the bottom of the body. From the side here, we're just gonna draw a curve all the way up to the right side. Just drawing a curve all the way up like that. Inside the middle here, we're just gonna draw a series of curves like this, just to show some of the body wrinkles. And they don't have to be perfect, and they don't have to match mine, they just have to be in place with enough space in between. From here, we're gonna draw in the hands. I'm gonna draw the hands out like this. So we're gonna draw on the hands first before we draw on the arms because they get overlapped on top of the arms. Now the simplest way to do this is to start with the palm of the hand. Right in here, we're gonna swirl around to the thumb. So we're gonna locate one hand here, starting with the inside of the palm, we're gonna swirl around and pull that in like that. Okay, so it's a big swirl. On the end here, we're just gonna step up and draw a little finger wrinkle like that. We're gonna draw another finger in behind here. So we're gonna start on the side Draw another swirl around like this. We're gonna take that little wrinkle and just pull that into that finger. We'll draw one more finger. So up here on this finger, we're gonna curl around, pull that in. Now from here, we're gonna work our way towards the thumb. So we're just gonna draw a little finger wrinkle first. From here, we're just gonna draw a curve up towards the edge of the thumb. Now we're gonna draw that little thumb tip. So we're gonna do an overlap and just do almost like an oval coming around like that. From this point, we wanna to connect to the wrist. So we're just gonna do a hard turn, and just pull it in so there's a little overlap there. So that's a cool looking hand. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're gonna start with the palm first. Coming around, draw a little swirl for the finger. We'll do that little finger wrinkle, a little curve like that. We'll go and do the second finger. So up here, draw another swirl, pull that in like that, little finger wrinkle. And then the index finger right up here, do another curve, curl it back, little finger wrinkle. Now we're gonna draw the curve in towards the thumb up to about here, so this is this part here. Now we're gonna take that curve and draw it in the opposite direction. So doing an overlap, curling around to right about there. We're gonna take that point and curve and overlap in behind that palm, just like that. Now we're gonna draw in the arms. So let's start with the shoulders. So I'm gonna locate the shoulders up here in between this seam. So up here, I'm gonna draw a little curve like this. Now you see that I have a little opening on the end. From here, I'm gonna draw a curve coming down into the body, right about there. And then we're gonna draw in the forearm. So right down here on this palm, it's gonna tuck this in with a little curve in behind the body. Up here, I'm just gonna close it off with a little curve like this. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Slimer from Ghostbusters. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.